co-founder of DeepMind, which was sold to Google back in 2014. He's now the co-founder and CEO of Inflection AI, also the author of The Coming Wave, which is out in September. It's great to meet you and have you. We feel lucky to have this interview with you today. It's great to be here. Thanks so for having me. Your book is essentially a warning of sorts about this coming wave of which you say, quote, we're not prepared. I don't think we are prepared, and I think it's important for us to be super aware that this is going to be a dramatic transformation. The benefits are going to be unbelievable. I mean, we are on the cusp of unleashing an intelligence revolution. Think about it. Over the last 20 years, we've all got access to smartphones and laptops. Whether you're a billionaire or you earn $20,000 a year, we all get to use the same cutting-edge hardware. And over the next 10 years, maybe 20 years, we're all going to get access to intelligence in your pocket, the best, the smartest, the most incredible tool you could ever imagine. And I, that's going to change everything. I think we're trying to you know, get our arms around what it's really going to mean. And the obvious thing that you come back to and, and others have made the comparison is to the invention of the Internet, of which you say one perspective of how to sort of visualize what this is going to look like. In 1996, 36 million people used the Internet. In 2023, it is 5 billion. That's the kind of trajectory we should expect for AI tools only much, much faster. Those are astounding numbers. I think that's absolutely right. Everybody is going to get access to the smartest intelligent assistant that you can imagine. I'm personally focused on building a personal AI. And I think that in your pocket, you're going to have a really capable tool that will make you much better at everything that you want to do, give you access to information and help you take actions. You've been very vocal, too, um, to this point on the, the fallout from what AI is going to mean um, for white-collar workers, for job loss. Unquestionably, you said, many of the tasks, and tasks in white-collar land will look very different in the next five to ten years. There are going to be a serious number of losers. Um, can you explain that more of, of really what you see? Anything that makes us smarter is clearly going to enable us to save time in certain ways, right? So there are huge efficiencies to come here, and those efficiencies will definitely change jobs. There's going to be a reshuffling of who does what and when. And I think the challenge for society is trying to make sure that we make that transition in as smooth as possible way. And that means we're going to have to catch the people who aren't able to retrain as quickly as they will need to or even relocate to places where there are jobs.